news of the job cuts didn't go down well in Germany, already suffering from high unemployment. The country is expected to be the hardest hit when GM's job cuts begin next year. Chris Burns reports. A cold wind blows over Opel's biggest company town with news that parent company General Motors plans deep cuts in Europe aimed at putting an end to five years of red ink. It calls for a reduction of the workforce of up to 12,000 jobs across Europe over the next two years. That's one in five GM jobs in Europe, though the automaker says the exact number depends on talks with the unions. GM says it wants to save 500 million euros, or $600 million, between subsidiaries Opel, Vauxhall in Britain, and Saab in Sweden. Opel Germany will be the hardest hit. At the Husselsheim plant, workers are in shock. Every man is asking himself, what's going to happen? How am I going to finance my house or feed my family, he says. With Christmas approaching, shopkeepers are worried too. People are holding on to their money. It's become more difficult. People are very afraid, he says. With German unemployment over 10 percent, domestic demand for cars and other big ticket items remains weak. Companies from manufacturing to construction to retail say they could be forced to slash tens of thousands of jobs. The gallows atmosphere stretches beyond Opel Company towns like this one. Across Germany, management has been playing hardball with unions lately, saying labor costs must come down. And if not, they'll move jobs out of the country or simply shut down. Union leaders warn of a bitter fight, like the 1989 GM plant closure in Flint, Michigan, after an emotional strike. The aftermath documented in the film Roger and Me by Michael Moore. In Frankfurt, unions from seven European countries announced plans for a Europe-wide informational campaign next Tuesday. We want to avoid that a Flint II happens in Europe, he says. There appears room for compromise. Many workers say they're willing to be flexible on pay and work hours as long as they can keep their livelihoods. Chris Burns, CNN, Husselsheim, Germany.